Hi everybody, Ian Bremmer here around your world in 180 seconds. I have your questions on my phone lined up from Washington, D.C., and we are ready to go. Number one, what are you watching for at the NATO summit? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's how all of these allies are responding to a very real political crisis in the United States. The U.S. is, of course, the country they rely on for leading NATO, uh, by far the biggest military power in the world, their principal ally. And they now know that the likelihood that Biden is going to be able to win uh, is is a lot lower than it was the last time they saw him. And they've been seeing him. They've, they saw him uh, at the G7. They saw him in Normandy. They saw him, um, you know, at the United Nations and some bunch of bilats. And, and everyone I've spoken to uh, says that they don't think uh, they're not they're not all confident that he can win. They certainly don't think he can serve out four more years. Uh, and they're deeply worried, uh, especially because uh, what a Trump administration might mean for them, with the exception of Viktor Orban, almost all the NATO allies are very worried. Uh, they know that NATO, the EU, the war in Ukraine, uh, all of that much more uncertain uh, if Trump were to come back as president. So that's what I'm watching for and see how that plays out. Number two, how will the UK's new PM, Keir Starmer, lead Britain? Economically, uh, not all that different. He's focused unusually for labor, uh, focused on a pro-growth policy. He's promised that he isn't going to raise uh, the major taxes like income tax and VAT. Um, and so he'll probably find some more money in things like inheritance tax. He's going to try to get more private sector investment into the economy. Uh, certainly uh, wants to have a consistent policy on Ukraine, consistent policy on the United States as the pre previous conservative governments Big change will be try to reestablish stronger relations with the European Union and particularly Ursula von der Leyen expected to get the nod for another five years running the EU. Keir Starmer spent a lot of personal time working on that over the past months. Finally, as a Russian missile struck a children's hospital in Kiev, is there still no end in sight for the war in Ukraine? Um, no, no, there's no end in sight. Uh, in fact, while that was happening, uh, Narendra Modi, uh, the Indian PM, was... Uh, uh, being uh, quite friendly uh, in uh, in Moscow on his visit with Putin. This is a partner of the United States. No, Putin feels like right now, um, especially uh, if Trump is elected, uh, that uh, his bet uh, on this invasion in Ukraine will work out well for him. And that is not what NATO allies want Putin to be thinking right now. There's been success in getting him a lot of support uh, over the last, the Ukrainians, over the course of the last six months. Uh, and certainly they're going to have more money over the next year. Uh, but longer term, there's a huge question about how that plays out. Uh, and Putin is showing impunity right at the beginning of the NATO summit uh, by sending all those missiles at civilian targets, including sick kids in Ukraine. Not a surprise, uh, but still pretty sickening. That's it for me. I'll talk to you all real soon.